Hey, what's up guys, uh, WQ here. And last time I was in this position, I was talking about natural gameplay, something I kind of call natural gameplay, which is when you play a little bit more natural and you play um, less based on your ego. And I, had, I made a whole video about it. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's pretty important for this video right here. Now I thought about this idea a lot and um, the whole whole argument or basically the core structure of the argument about natural gameplay is that it's, it's not a force you're not forcing yourself to play naturally. I think a lot of um, the problems you see in game in gameplay mentality stuff, where people say, oh, you have to play this certain way, you have to play comfortably, you have to play calm, don't worry about this and that. Well, the problem with all that is it's, it's a force, you're forcing yourself to do that. Even if it's a good force, you're still forcing yourself to do that. And if the mind, if the body doesn't wanna do that, when you go in the game, um, you're, just gonna, you're just gonna blow up, and just gonna kinda implode and it doesn't, it doesn't work, right? So I kind of came up with these ideas and it kind of came, it, it turned into natural gameplay, right? My, my core theory is that the way you understand a system, you're gonna develop certain strategies around that. And then I'm saying, find what's natural and then practice what's natural based on how you understand a system. And then that's what's going to turn into natural gameplay. Now, again, last time when I was talking about natural gameplay, I was specifically talking about micro interactions. I was specifically talking about in the past, for example, I was saving, let's say zero to six frames on entering doors in a micro interaction um, per door. And over the course of the whole run, this, this becomes a lot of time. And this was a huge win for me because it was completely natural. It was actually easier. And the whole reason I was finding these interactions is because I was actually saying, hey, I don't do this properly. I keep making the error. What's the way I can find to do this easier? And then I would go into practice. And when I went into practice, I was finding frames for almost everything. Almost every screen in the game, I was, I was finding anywhere from one to 30 frames or zero to 30 frames. And, uh, and not just that, but like variably, like sometimes in certain rooms on one out of four RNGs, I was saving frames or like one out of the four RNGs on a specific setup, I was moving too far and I was saving a frame or five frames on that. But it, you know, more that across the whole game, across an hour and a half of gameplay, and I was saving a significant amount of time. It was actually easier to do, right? That's what natural gameplay was to me. But ultimately it was micro interactions. And I lost the race about two weeks ago and I was very upset. And I was like, why, why did I play so bad? I kept messing up mechanically. I was very nervous and very anxious, highly focused on my opponent. And I was like, why am I playing so bad? What's going on? I, I need to address this, right? So I, thought about it a lot and I realized my macro game was not very natural and I came up with this idea called macro natural gameplay. It's the same exact um, natural phenomenon to micro interactions that was helping me out so much, but it's just applied to the macro interactions. I had the same problem in the gameplay where I'm using my ego to promote my gameplay. My ego, my gameplay is based on my ego, but my macro gameplay is based on my ego. And I boil this down to try harding and what exactly is try harding? And I'm going to get out into that in this vlog because it's some pretty powerful stuff. And yesterday kind of changed my mind. It kind of changed my perception on how this stuff works. And um, if, if, if I'm any credibility, if there's any credibility um, for me going forward, I'm going to do some pretty great stuff in the next few months. And we're going to find out because I might flop too. And honestly, I flop a lot, so I'll take it. But this could be the miracle fruit that I've been looking for for a past, um, I would say three years. Actually, the truth is I found natural gameplay in January. It was the miracle fruit. This was the coup de grace. This solved all my problems. This solves the ego. Again, it's natural, so it, it can't be forced by definition, right? You have to find a way to do that. And I explained that in my natural gameplay blog. Macro natural gameplay, it's, it's simply natural gameplay on a macro scale. So for me, um, Every time I do a run, it's usually bad. And I'm like, what's going on? I've, I've gotten to the point recently in the past four months where if I get a good run um, started and I get good RNG at someone PB pace, I'm able to sit down, I'm able to focus. Most of the time, I'm able to pump out a good run. And that's great and all because it's the good runs that matter in speedrunning ultimately. But I don't entirely think this is true. And another truth about speedrunning is that um, it's the best run that matters. And so if you're on kind of a bad run at the start and you turn it around at the end, uh, it's still your best run and it, it's still going to matter more than a good run at the start. Well, I can't turn those runs around if they're, um, if I give up halfway through, if I start kind of playing bad. Um, and then I was also running into problems during like races, during marathons. Um, you know, when, when I'm talking to my microphone, I was running into problems with my controller. I was only able to play good for the first run or if I took a break. These, all these macro gameplay problems are really, uh, really running into problems with. And I've come up with a lot of ideas in the past like nine months about uh, macro gameplay, how it should be, how the optimal macro gameplay. 
um, a lot of this stuff and ultimately I decided like 99% of it is it's all it's all an effect and which is kind of a problem because I think people like to come up with um, a solution and they're like great but it's not a solution at all what it is they come up they come up with how it should be which they're right usually it's not that hard but it's an effect and so then they try to apply the effect to their gameplay which is their problem you can't apply, apply the answer to the problem. You have to you have to apply the solution, and then you get the answer, right? And so, for example, the answer is not not a, not getting nervous and not panicking and making a bad decision in the run. That's the answer. Um, the the and, or that's the that's the problem, right? Um, I guess it's also the answer. Well, the answer for them is it's not choke, right? Well, you, you can't apply that not getting nervous um, to the problem. You can't just go into the run and, and not get nervous. You, you can't just go into a tight situation and play good, or go into a tight situation and focus on the run. That's what a lot of these noobs uh, constantly go on about. They'll always say, oh, just focus. Well, it doesn't really work like that. And I think anybody that's been in a tight situation knows that if you ever have not focused, well, there's reasons you're not focusing. They are, there's, those are the problems. It's not, it's not just a magical thing where you randomly focus. But what I'm saying is if you can find out the actual solution or the, the input to the problem, um, then your output, which was not it, which is focusing, which is tryharding, um, that'll that'll come out and it's going to be a lot better. So I've come up with a lot of these solutions and like one example is um, not losing time is a lot better in a speed run than um, doing something optimally or saving time and on average or and actually I, I went a little bit deeper than that and I think it's closer to like mitigating time loss or avoiding time loss. Um, play it has an extra importance, has an extra value, um, invisible that in you don't really see and so if you go into a screen and there's like let's say just for very simple concrete uh, example there's four different outcomes that can happen the ideal outcome is optimal you save two seconds right and then there's the average outcome which is let's say go you go even where you lose one second and then um there's the bad outcomes where you lose seven seconds and then there's a good outcome where you save a second right so what most people would do is try to play for that good outcome or try to play for that optimal outcome, right? But um, I, I'm arguing that what you should do is ju just play to not get that very bad outcome. It doesn't matter if you lose one second, as long as you're not losing seven seconds, it's not that big of a deal. And if you look at a speed run and just how a speed run is um, constructed, this is defi this definitely applies, it's definitely a thing. But again, the problem is that that's an effect of your gameplay. That's not the cause, and so if you take that and you say, okay, I'm gonna play like this, it doesn't work, nothing's gonna work. And I was doing that with tryharding, right? And it, the thing with that is it's based on your ego because your ego says you gotta win and so you need a, um, a gimmicky solution in order to win. And this for me was tryharding and so if I try hard, it's gonna be a magical solution and I'm always gonna win in every situation. That's what tryharding was for me. And so that's my definition of tryharding. And so I go into a run like this and I would completely overexert and I would get really anxious and I was trying very hard and I was getting good results. And that's kind of the trap you run into with your ego. Well, I am getting good results, right? So I am doing something right. Well, kind of, but it's, it's not natural and that's the real problem. And that's why natural gameplay is actually the solution to the ego. I can't explain it here, but. So what I was doing, I was recently yesterday and today or two days ago and yesterday, I was, Finding a way to try hard naturally. Try to find a way to play the game naturally, which I, once I told myself this, it completely blew my mind. It completely opened up for me um, the whole, a whole Pandora's uh, op jar of uh, secrets completely blew up in my mind. And immediately I realized that what my definition of tryharding was actually very wrong. It was, it was very um, bad and very different. And what I thought tryharding was, I thought it was a different realm of gameplay. Like right here, you had you had standard gameplay. You're just playing it in under normal conditions. You know, not trying super hard. Not, you're obviously in paying attention, you know. Maybe it's a little uncomfortable, your chair, but whatever. And then if you try hard, it's a different realm of gameplay. It's completely different. Everything's amped up. Um, it's a different sphere of gameplay. This is, this is what I thought. And so when I would try hard, I would go into this different sphere of gameplay. Um, I, I realized this, this is very unnatural. And again, it, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick because it's an, it's an end all solution, right? If I try my hardest, I'll win, right? If I try super hard, like beyond Omega levels of try hard, well, I'll win in any situation. Well. This is not true. What I realized tryharding is it's 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 in the sphere of gameplay. It's just a more 
uh, focused, crystallized version of that sphere of gameplay, it, it's exactly the same. And what I mean, for example, is in Link of the Past, there's a lot of dashing and dash movement, and it's very important. And so if you dash, and then it's a one frame window, every dash is basically a one frame window. If you just make more of an effort to hit that one frame window, that's that that qualifies as try hiding, right? You're trying harder to get that one frame window. And so I needed, I needed a um, natural way to try hard. And so I then realized I was playing the game very unnaturally. And if I lost a bunch of time, I'd, I'd get highly stressed out and I get highly anxious because I wasn't able to PV. And I realized that this is not natural. And so I had to scrap that. And so I had to pick up a style of gameplay where I was much more calm and comfortable, right? I was much more natural in the moment. And this was really good because I'm able to finish a run no matter what, although it was very bad because I'm not try harding. For example, last night I was using microphone and when I'm using microphone, I'm never tryharding. My hands kind of hurt and I wasn't really focusing. So this is not tryharding for me. I'm not in that new or different realm of tryharding, which doesn't exist. It thought it existed. And so usually when I tryharded, I turn the mic off and I go to that different realm, right? But last night I realized I needed to be calm. And But how can I be calm and on microphone, but still tryharding, right? And this is this is what natural tryharding it is to me. Um, and this is what I realized. This is when I realized that uh, try hard is, is simple, it's very simple. It's just doing something and making more of an effort to do it, right? And so with the microphone on, all I had to do was try very much harder to hit that one frame dash, try much harder to do the correct inputs at the right time. Uh, it, it, it became pretty simple. And so I was actually able to play with microphone with my hands in the worst possible condition, which degrades my ability I can play the game like significantly. I was able to, uh, all, all these macro gameplay problems I was highly running into completely evaporated. Uh, they all completely evaporated because the first run I did, the light world was very bad because I'm not focusing on the game. I'm talking with the mic. I'm not very involved in the game. I'm not like my muscle, my adrenaline's not there, right? And so it, the run is terrible. And this is the reason I, I I don't play like this is because the run's not good because I'm not I'm not involved, I'm not making an effort. I go into the fourth split and I die and I lost a bunch of time. And again, this is why I never do this. Fifth split, same deal. Sixth split actually started to be okay. And because my brain started to process what was going on, I started to get mad that I'm failing. I started to ask myself, why am I failing? And this is also why um, being natural and this macro natural gameplay is like so powerful and so important because when something goes wrong, you can actually address the mistake and then make an attempt to fix it. Where if you're playing unnaturally macro, it's kind of just random and you're just kind of doing everything. And even if you're tryharding at that level or like really um, putting your all into it, uh, it, it doesn't quite work. And I actually originally um, created this idea because, well, it was for the race, but the idea was when the run is bad, I don't I don't try my hardest and I lose I lose the, the involvement that I have um, when my I really, uh, shut down and I go to that new sphere of triarding, that different sphere of triarding. Uh, if, if the run's not good, I'm not involved. If I'm mad and tilted at all, if my controller's not working perfectly, I get really, I get kind of destroyed. I just can't play anymore. And I mean, I've done hundreds, thousands of runs like this and it, it, they just never worked, right? And then there's the other end of me where I'm just not trying at all and I'm super calm and the runs are just bad. With this new level, of, uh, it's not even new, it's, it's just, a, it's playing calm, but making more of an effort to do the inputs and making an effort to do them correctly and also making an effort to not tilt. And actually I was finding I didn't even need to make an effort to not tilt because I'm aware that if I uh, make an error and I lose six seconds, um, that sucks, but the run's not over. And oftentimes if you make an error, you can save a bunch of time by not losing more time. So I, I'm aware of that and I, you know, I would make an error, fix it, move on. You know, I'm, I'm anxious and the odds of me PV went pretty much to zero. Um, or they went very low, but then, you know, I just kept it together. I just kept playing the game again, cause I'm completely calm, you know, and I'm, I'm actually, su I was super try hard the whole time. And I, I ended up posting more good runs last night and then four runs. And then I've almost ever posted in my life in one stream. I got two 123s last night. I only have five ever. Two of them were like, I don't even know how these runs were as good as my PB because the RNG in that runs weren't that good and there was big errors. Actually, they were quite possibly better than my PB. I, I don't even know how. Two of them. Now I had two really bad runs and that was kind of the problem I was trying to address and it, it, it quite clearly didn't work. So it's not a it's not a miracle solution. It's definitely not the end all and uh, I, I'm definitely learning a lot, but what I was able to do last night, it might change a lot. And I, and actually the other thing about natural gameplay that's like really killer is it's, it's all based, it's all rooted in understanding. So it's like, I actually can't, change how I play now. 
I can't go back to how I used to play because my brain just understands the game differently in 2017, May 9th, than it did May 5th. So I, I my default now is to play calm, focus on the gameplay, play natural. And I think this is like really powerful because everything I do in the game, everything I'm starting to do in the game is completely in my control. I'm completely in control of everything I'm doing. And like that's huge because everything I could do is is recreatable. If I ever get a goal time or a specific time, I could easily recreate it. I could easily redo it. If I need to grind something out, if I need to grind out good RNG and light roll, I could do it. I could spend six hours and try to get a good light roll. It's no longer random. It's no longer putting my all my balls in on one good run and then having that one good run for six months. This ability to try hard also completely solves my hand issues, completely solves my controller issues. They just don't exist anymore. And, and these hand issues, these controller issues have been plaguing me since December. 85% of my runs have been unplayable since December because of this hand controller issues. Last night, doesn't exist. The two 123s, my hands feel worse than they've ever felt. Does, doesn't exist, like what's going on? And another thing, here's another thing about natural gameplay, and especially macro natural gameplay. If I'm doing something wrong, I'm completely in control or I'm getting there. I can fix it, I can change it. I can just change it and then fix it and go back to doing something that's uh, something that works, you know? I'm, I'm actually aware if something goes wrong. Before I was like really getting aggressive and like, I, honestly, I'm, it's getting to the point where I'm not even sure what the hell I was doing or thinking. <laughs> I was just doing random stuff. But my life has definitely changed and macro natural gameplay and natural tryharding for me have completely changed my life. It's a complete game changer, complete game changer. And actually I wanna to talk to you about um, how tryharding for me was the gimmick, gimmicky end all. Well, that's the ego trap. That's the e that's where ego theory comes in. And natural, natural word, the natural um, so solves that, solves that ego trap. Again, natural gameplay is when Instead of basing what you can do based on the result, you base what you can do based on what you think you can do. So now when I go into a situation, I try as hard as I can hard try, right? I try as hard as I um, think I can try. And so I can actually completely level up my tryharding um, to an infinite level, completely based on my own intuition. And actually guys, I came up with another idea today. I'm thinking there's, there's, a, um, uh, there's an apex pinnacle to all of this and I'm thinking, there's something that binds all of this together. And when I figure that out, I might really truly ascend, ascend into the, uh, my unholy form. I'm thinking that might actually happen, uh, I don't know, it might happen sooner than I expected. I'm, I'm grinding every day. I, I literally leveled up like two months ago. I'm leveling up again right now. <sighs> Jesus, dude, I'm, I'm leveling up again. I just leveled up, leveling up again. I know, I, it's, I don't know if um, the speed, speed community is knows what's gonna hit them. And honestly guys, I, it could, you know, what if I'm crazy? What if I'm crazy? What if I'm wrong about this? I could be. Was I wrong about natural gameplay? Not at all. Was I wrong about input output theory? Not at all. Is natural gameplay the solution to ego theory? Was I wrong about that? It doesn't look like it at all. Macro natural gameplay and natural tryharding? Is that gonna be the solution that solves me? Maybe, again, it's not for me to decide. My brain understanding has completely changed. So at this point, if it's a failure, well, I'm, I'm completely doomed because I can't actually go, I can't go back to what I was doing. But yeah, guys, I'll be able to post real um, analysis, analytical data, probably a few months from now. Again, natural gameplay, I came up with in January. End of April, I was able to say, hey, you know what? This was a really good idea. It's beginning of May, probably going into August, uh, September, October. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to say, hey, you know what? There's more going on. Um, and I think there's actually still a lot more out there, out there that's an apex pinnacle that I'm uh, trying to get to. And, and I guess I don't want to um, I don't want to go on too much about you know natural gameplay and natural tryharding and macro natural gameplay and you know all the, all these good stuff. I'm gonna leave you guys just with this simple vlog, and I'll, I'll make sure to update y'all on um, uh, my gameplay adventures, my gameplay ideas, my gameplay theory. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too because I'm gonna take over the gaming world and um, natural gameplay, macro natural gameplay, it's just a start. <laughs> some said never, but they never done come. Yeah, and took our trust. It's been winning, but the lovers ain't done. Yeah.